Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Please be seated. It is my distinct pleasure as the superintendent of school to preside over this meeting as the secretary of the board as stipulated in the uh, Florida uh, statutes. We have a number of items that we're going to take care of tonight during this organizational meeting, and I will go over those briefly at this time so you'll know the agenda. First of all, momentarily we will have the oath ceremony, which will include our four new board members, Marsha Andrews, Karen Brill, Jenny Pryor Brown, and Chuck Shaw, and Deborah Robinson. And Deborah Robinson. Following that, we will have the, an opportunity, uh, particularly for the new board members, to make remarks, especially to their family and friends and supporters, about this uh, important occasion. After that, we will have the organizational portion of the meeting, which will include the selection of the school board chair and vice chair. And then I will turn over the, ha uh, the gavel at that point to the new chair, who will preside over the reorganizational decisions that have to be made in terms of the time of the meetings, et cetera. I do solemnly swear, I do solemnly swear that I will support, protect, and defend the Constitution and government of the United States and of the State of Florida, that I am duly qualified to hold office under the Constitution of the State and that I will well and faithfully perform the duties of school board member on which I am now about to enter. So help me God. Congratulations. Wow, a new school board member. And it's all because of you. It's all because of our children. We must make a difference for our children. Before I begin, I want to take a moment in public to thank Bill Graham for his 24 years of service to our school district. He has been most gracious to me and has offered his support and his assistance, and I want to thank him for being the gentleman that he has been for all of these years and for caring about our community and our district. So thank you, Bill. Um, Look around you. It's amazing at the number, to look at the number of people that are here. This has been an unprecedented year of interest in our school district and in our schools and our teachers in our classrooms. We need your help. We need you to stay involved. We need this interest to continue. We have a very difficult year ahead of us. The budget is going to be very, very tight. And we're going to need all stakeholders the business community, the teachers, the unions, the parents, the students, the principals, everybody to set aside any differences and work together as a team. We need your help. I need your help. We about a year and a half ago when my husband and I first started talking about the possibility of me running for school board, our twins were still four. And one of the real appeals of this job is that it would be my only job and it would give me the flexibility to spend more time with our children. What an ironic twist then that for the last eight months I've spent on average five nights of a week outside of the house. <laughs> this would only have worked because of the amazing support system of family and friends that have stepped in to help. At the core of that system is my husband, Philip, who has been nothing short of phenomenal. <laughs> I could not, would not have done this without him. I have never loved him more or been more proud to be your partner. During the campaign, I promised to be active, engaged, informed, and responsive, and independent. I make that pledge to you again today, and I expect you to hold me accountable. I ran on a platform of accountability, and a common theme was respect. To teachers, to all employees, to parents, students, to all stakeholders. I believe the two go hand in hand. We show respect by ensuring accountability at every level of the school district. We show respect by making sure our limited resources are allocated fairly and equitably. We show respect by ensuring that punishment is fairly and equitably administered. 
by listening and responding to all concerned stakeholders. <laughs> to the adults in the system, to school board members, administrators, bus drivers, cafeteria workers, teachers, our jobs exist to serve our students and we owe them a fiduciary responsibility to be exemplary role models. If you steal from the system, you steal from a child. If you harm one child or fail to perform your duties, you harm the whole. Either way, please know I will use my voice and my vote to hold you accountable. For 11 years, I had the high honor of walking into federal court and announcing my appearance. Good morning, Your Honor. Jennifer Pryor Brown on behalf of the United States of America. I didn't think I'd ever match that, but in this job, I believe I will. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I am Jennifer Pryor Brown on behalf of the School District of Palm Beach County. I've been here 10 years. <laughs> Every step of the way, trying my very best to speak truth to power and fight for children and the adults that serve them. I suspect that I probably have had a fight or a disagreement with each and every person in this room. <laughs> and that's a good thing, because we shouldn't always get along. But we should respect each other enough to share our ideas, and we should critically think about the task at hand, and we should work together in order to save the children. Ten years ago, I gave a tearful speech where I said that there are no throwaway children. I still believe that. We throw away a few less than we did 10 years ago. It's my mission to continue to work to change this system and to empower the community so that we don't throw away children. We uh, this journey for me started back in, um, I hate to even say this because there's probably nobody in the room who's who was around at that time, but I think this journey for me started in 1955 when I started in the Palm Beach County School District as a, as a student. And then in 1970 when I started working for the school district and here 41 years later, still with this school district, and I'm here for only one reason, and that's the love and admiration that I have for the students and the parents and the teachers and everybody who has worked in the school system that I've had the honor of working with over the years. And I felt like this was an opportunity for us to make a statement to really do everything that this entire board collectively can do to honor the students and, the, and this entire community by providing the best possible education that we can. It is now my duty and honor to bring the organizational portion of this meeting uh, into uh, uh, a start. Uh, we'll begin by calling for the nominations for the chairman of the school board, Dr. Benaim. Um Thank you very much, Dr. Johnson. Um, it gives me great pleasure in welcoming each of you to the school board, and I'm really very happy to be working with you, and I think we will expect great things together. Um, in a show of solidarity, and a show of camaraderie, that we will all work together and we'll move this district ahead, as I know you all want us to, I have the distinct honor and pleasure of nominating uh, Mr. Frank Barbieri as chair. <laughs> Do, do I hear a second? <laughs> Recognize Marsh Andrews. I call for any additional nominations at this time. Hearing none, I close the nominations. All in favor, say aye. 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 Any opposed? Mr. Barbieri, you are the new chairman of the Palm Beach County School District. I now call for the nominations of the vice chairman. I'd like to nominate Dr. Deborah Robinson. Yeah. Hearing none, I close the nominations. Yeah. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? The motion carries. Dr. Robinson, you are the vice chairman. Yeah. 